thank God because I know I'm not all that to the point where she see God. So it was like whatever she she would she got up and said something and I said, Well, Nika, well, why would you say something about it when we talk about it? You know, you should be good because we talk. I didn't I said, Well, um, I should just you know, I said, Well, Nika, you don't have to talk about it, you know, let let it let it go, let it go. But she was like, Ma, no, all I wanted, she said, I just wanted pastor to have something to say about it. I didn't want everybody's opinion. And I said, yeah. She said, Ma, um, yeah, you shouldn't have said nothing. And I, I, I value my daughter's opinion of what she says. So I thank God for my children that they talk to me. They help me. They'll tell me, Ma, you was wrong. You know, and I like that. Like, my girls don't sugarcoat nothing for me. And I don't sugarcoat nothing for them. So I, I just thank God for being here, being on the altar, being able to say that. Because not everybody do that. Not everybody care how, how they, how they, how they make a person feel. Not everybody do that. I'm I'm that person. And I did sleep good at night. It wasn't that I couldn't sleep because I did sleep good, but I know how to make things right. So I, I just thank God. So I'm going to go on with my lesson that I know that God gave to me. Um, and I, cause I, I was like, I did tell pastor earlier today. I said, I can't go on and go forth in a word. I just felt uneasy about Wednesday, but I was like, he, he's, you know, God told me, it's not about you. You know, you got work to do. Just like we all got work to do. It, and it's like, I, I cannot, you know, not go forth for him. God, go forth um, and not tell of his goodness. And if I'm worrying about how somebody feel about me or what I did or what, if, I, if, I, if I apologize and, and if somebody don't forgive, then that's not on me no more. I got it off of me because I'm on the altar and I'm asking God to forgive me. I asked him already. So, you know, I, I don't mind bringing things out like that because there's no drama with me or anything. God knows me and I know who I am. So I just thank God for that. So my, my title is, it's just a test. You are coming out. And I know he gave this to me. I'm just like, I said, well, Lord, what do you want me to say? Um, Y'all can go to Psalms 26 and 2. I have a few scriptures, so... Um, I'm going to go to Psalms 26 and 2 where it reads. I wrote the scripture down, so um, I read, I'm just going to start reading it. So it says, examine me, O Lord, and prove me, try my reins and my heart. Mm -hmm. So if if God is going to, if God, you're asking God to examine you, even, even any of us, you know, we just have to ask God, God, show me me when I pray. Mm -hmm. Show me who I am. And did I do the right thing today? Did I say the right thing? Did I, did I roll my eyes? Did I make a facial expression? Did I say something or do something to somebody where today I may have messed up my myself from trying to make it in? Because when you lay down in your bed at night, you got to make sure that you are right. You got to make sure your, your path is clear. Because if it's not, there could be... A problem and I, I never want to go to bed that way and none of us Hallelujah. should want to do that so David wanted to make sure nothing was hindering him Hallelujah. so when we going through so much we may ask God um, and it's normal why it is normal when it's one thing after the other and you're oh, just yeah. saying my God Lord you know that first thing may happen you say Lord I trust you I know you got it I, I believe you it's gonna be all right then the next thing happened in the next day or the next 10 to 15 minutes, it's like, okay, Lord, like, oh my God, now, now this, like, you have got to be, like, kidding me right now. You know, the, the, the tire went flat. That's why I just ran over there. Like, my, I've been looking for a tire all day. My tire was wobbling all the way over here, all day in Jersey City. I was up early looking for a tire, and I could not get it because my tire was bad. I, every little thing was trying to stop me today, and I said, wow. it must be for me to come because oh, everything man. was in the way, and I said, no. Amen. So I ran over there real quick. I got here at 7 o'clock, and I ran. Nika said, are you serious, man? You going around? I said, I got to get this tire because yeah. by the night, I saw he was open. Amen. Nobody in Jersey City had my size tire, so I, this guy had it. I went to him. Amen. So I just thank God for, for that. Amen. So Amen. it was like one thing after another. And, and it was like Tiara, she she going through a lot, so I'm trying to help her. I was like, I'm her mother, so I'm gonna naturally be there. It's like she couldn't get the money, she couldn't get to the bank in time. Then she couldn't find um, her husband. It was like, oh my God, Tiara, I'm gonna be late. So it was just like so many things just oh, yeah. testing sure. me and trials and tests and trials only come to make us strong. Oh, yeah. so I thank God for for all the tests and trials that I went through. When I went through that sickness, I, I forget sometimes. It's like 
Never forget where God brought you through. Because sometimes I think about that when I went in the rheumatoid arthritis and lupus and it was all on me. I was I was limping. I was couldn't walk. I couldn't do nothing. I was in a lot of pain and. And I, when I, I tell you, I, I tried everything somebody said, oh, you should try this. I took it. I tried that. Every little medicine that somebody said, girl, you got to try this. And I tried it. I was drugged up. And you can't take everything somebody tell you. <laughs> so many obstacles will come in our way. In our way to where we can't even see the finish line. It's like, okay. And now it's really cloudy because it's like, I trust you, Lord. I believe you. Amen. I know you there. Amen. So why can't I see the end of this? It's like it's like um, that movie, the um, it, it's, um, Bruce Almighty. It's, that movie is so funny to me. But it was funny how he asking God, show me a sign. And he put all this truck rides up in front of him with all of these signs. It's saying stop, yield, do not pass, do not enter, all of these things. But then he got annoyed with the truck. The truck was in his way. So it's like you asked for the signs and God sent this truck with all of these signs in front of you. Now it's in your way. So you can't, you you like, would you be big, move out the way. You're in my way. He don't even realize all the signs. Just slow down. Stop. Amen. Yield. Take a breath. Amen. Breathe. And Amen. but sometimes we don't get we don't get it. We just don't. We don't see the finish line. We cannot get it like that. So we get annoyed, we get upset. But James said, count it all joy. Oh, yeah. And James 1 and 2. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, do, do it all. Do oh, it yeah. all. Do it all, Nene. <laughs> count it all joy oh, because yeah. it's no way in the world oh, he yeah. is not going to see us through it. Yeah. So yeah. I, I just I just thank God for joy. Like you were just talking about so oh, yeah. And then we have the uh, divine appointed test. That's Job 1, 7 through 8. That's... um. Yeah, y'all can go to Job 1, 7, 7 and 8. Yes. So it says, mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Oh, yeah. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro oh, yeah. in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Oh, yeah. And the Lord said unto Satan, <clears throat> Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil. Now I went over this, I, I'm laughing because... I don't know. I just I don't know why I found. I try to find humor. Everything. I'm if, if you if you really know me. I'm I just I just like to laugh. I like to have fun. I mean, you play. And I try that. to find humor in everything. Even Nika knows. Earlier today, I was just saying I can't even go through it. <laughs> but um, and so and the Lord said unto Satan, and He said to Satan, Whence comest thou? Like where did you come from? Oh yeah. This is the thing. It's like you come you come into the house of God. Even if you could get work, everything could be good. Your day good. You got money. You got you got gas bill up. Everything. Bam. It's like where did you come from? Oh, yeah. Why are you here? Why are you around me? Why are oh, you yeah. trying to get in my space? Uh -huh. Leave me alone, Satan. Yes. So he's like, like whence comest thou? Oh, yeah. Then now, then Satan answered from the Lord and said, going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. That's from being any and everywhere. We, sometimes it's not where we're supposed to be. I, I can attest to that. Just being where you're not supposed to be. Just hanging, doing things, talking to the wrong people, gossiping, running your mouth. That, that's happened, that happens to all of us. Oh, yeah. So, And the Lord said unto Satan, hast thou considered my servant Job? Oh, yeah. That there is none like him in the earth? A perfect and upright man, one that fear of God and a shoe with evil. Oh, yeah. He he did he did he did, he turned away from evil. He means tell me he avoided conflict. Mm. Sometimes you could just try to be so righteous, oh, you can yeah. try to be so holy, you can just try to avoid the conflict, you can try to avoid, and somebody puts your name in something. And it's like I mean, like I have nothing to do with that. But no, but you could have just said, mm-hmm. And now you're in it. So it's like, you can't even win for losing and sometimes. So Satan is a liar. This is what I say about him. He's a liar. He will lie yes, on you. He will cheat. He will do all. He have you believe in. He have you believe in what the enemy said about you. What, what the enemy said about you. You don't believe what he said about you. And and all, all that Job had, Satan said, I mean, Satan said, Take the hedge of protection off of him oh, yeah. and watch him curse you. And that's that's how that's how it be sometimes. It's like long as everything is good, everything looks good, everything feels good, everything is right, and you whistling and bubbly, 
it's like if, if that hedge of protection is moved or say say like um say like I, I say my, my husband loses his job or um I I just totally lose all my income. It's like now, what like anything, anything in your life, you know, just um something that may just happen and, and a boom, split second. You like that hedge of protection oh, is yeah. gone. It's like now what do you do? Now what oh, do yeah. you say? Saying like I got you in the corner. So what are you gonna do now? But the the the, the best thing is to do, like Charlotte was saying, I'm, I'm using you against this, <laughs> is just to get on your knees and pray. Sometimes you can't, because Tiara was that way last week. She couldn't even pray. She was like, Ma, I can't, I can't, I can't. I was like, Tiara, well, I'm going to pray for you. I got you. So testing is a blessing. Oh, yeah. When the test is over and we have stood the test, oh, yeah. we receive yeah. the crown of life. Hallelujah. Yeah. James 1 and 12 is, blessed is the man that endures temptation. Oh, yeah. For when he is tried, oh, yeah. he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to him that love him. Oh, yeah. It is also confident to know that he will not put more that we can bear. Oh, yeah. In the second Corinthians 12 and 9, and he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in oh, yeah. weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities oh, yeah. that the power of Christ may rest upon me. I use this one today because me and my sister was talking and she was just saying certain certain things. And I was like, Man, just when you in that weak moment, oh, that yeah. weak low point. Uh -huh. It is best. It is best to just give God your all. That's oh, when you yeah. can really cry out and, and moan and, and groan. You got the tears. You got the snot boogers. Everything. I'm telling you, it's the best feeling when you're going through and when you feel weak. You feel like there is no no solution. Oh, yeah. It's like you like what in the world more can I do? I'm doing everything that I know how to do, and it's just not happening in that moment. But His His grace is sufficient. He is enough. He may not come when we want him, but he's always on time. He's more than enough. And just go through with grace because he's holding our hand. And Paul says in 2 Corinthians 12 and 10, he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee for my strength. Oh, yeah, this again. Sorry. <laughs> so um, it, oh, I might as well read it again. He said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Amen. And I say, we serve an awesome God. And he will take He will take care of us. Yeah. He is mighty. He's wonderful. He's He's our provider. And it's not and it's and it's all about him and it's not about us. Um I know we read this, I, I think majority of us read this book by um Pastor Vincent Grimsley. God's purpose is greater than your pain. Mm. It hurts going through. It hurts. It hurts to be broke. It hurts. It hurts. But God's purpose is greater than your pain. Oh, yeah. God has given you purpose. Oh, now you God. should give him your pain. We must align ourselves with God's perfect will for our lives. And Jeremiah 29, 11, this is in my closing. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Say of the Lord thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. And the title again is, It's Just a Test. You are coming out. Yes. Amen.